Hi, uh, in the last tutorial we have seen uh, importing data sources into physical layer of the repository. Now in this tutorial I will show you how to set up the connection pool properties, defining keys and joins, examining physical layer object properties, creating alias tables and printing the physical layer diagram. So. So in the last tutorial we have seen our physical diagram. So this is our physical diagram uh, where products is joining with the sales by using a key as prod id. Okay. Now if you see the properties of connection pool. So the very first uh, option is caller call interface. So this is basically your uh, uh, basically I would say this is a driver which you will be used to connect to the database so whereas in case of if you want to access any XML or any other ODBC connections then you have to change the call, call interface here and the second property is uh, maximum connection uh, sometimes what happens is uh, if uh, multiple users logging into the system and they were firing the queries continuously so that uh, at any point of time our OBA system will open only 10 connections so if you want to increase that uh, that to a little bit higher than this connections uh, then you may see some performance improvement but at the same time if you increase it heavily uh, let's say 1000 or something like that then your DB performance will get reduced as the connections will be opened so that you need to decide based on the number of users that are using the system and data source name is nothing but the connection string and username and password here and uh, multi you know, these are some of the options enable uh, connection pooling multi threaded option parameter supported whether if your database is supported uh, parameters then you can check this option and here is a write back uh, functionality if you want any this we will discuss later as uh, even if I say now uh, you will not be able to understand it we will see it later and there are some um, uh, like say if you want to run a query before connecting to this database uh, you can use the new option here in the connection scripts and you can use a query to fire uh, on the database before you connect or after you connect execute and connect these are the some of the features that are available so based on that you can use it these are the connection pool properties and one more important point is permissions so here in this option uh, uh, you can set the permissions uh, which user uh, I mean which user or role uh, uh, can access this connection pool so basically this is a kind of data level security at the connection pool level so basically you are restricting that user to connect to the database itself <coughs> to restrict the user to connect to the database itself. Uh, that's it the, these are the connection pools in the next tutorial i will be explaining you the objects